This is an unusually large crown gall growing towards the bottom of a beech tree. This is caused by a bacterium known as Agrobacterium tuathesians that lives in the soil, which has the peculiar habit of injecting some of its DNA into the cells of the tree and forcing the tree to produce these cancerous tumour-like growths. The galls can be found underground and also growing either singly or in groups on the branches. They can reduce the growth potential of the tree because they're either diverting or obstructing the channels that carry the water, which is the xylem, and also the channels which carry the sugars and so on, which is the phloem. They are of value, however, to wood turners. They make very interesting patterns within the wood. The bacterium isn't specific to any one particular species of tree. It also attacks shrubs and herbs. Nothing can really be done in terms of prevention or control. In America, there's some extremely large galls of this type growing on giant redwood trees. There are other similar growths to crown galls on trees, and these are known as burrs or burls. Burrs are caused not by bacteria, but by either viruses, fungi, or sometimes by physical damage. When they're inspected close up, it can be seen they're not made of just a tumorous growth, but instead are made up of a large number of dormant buds. These dormant buds normally will start to grow if something happens to the top of the tree. That is, it suppresses what's known as the apical dominance, whereby the top of the tree prevents any other growth below. The dormant buds may remain so throughout the life of the tree, in which case you just have a warty-looking burr. These are, again, valued by wood turners and so on, because of the interesting patterns that's within the timber. <laughs>